Mr. Lake? The sheriff is waiting for you in her office down the corridor. Thank you. That woman that again. Is Cynthia Weaver. I guess you can call her the town eccentric. She used to be. The oh, is she talking to me? Paper, but she's focused on. Um, yeah, it's uh, Mulligan here. I'm at Stucky's gas station with Thornton. There's no sign of him. Over. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, this is Thornton. Look, we've located the great location here. That's some good news, right? Stucky was supposed to be driving oh, no. to the rehearsal today. Over. The sheriff wants to see you in her office. Yes, I know. Shut up. I'm mourning over Stucky. Hang on, hang on. Hang on. Where am I? I thought I could have some water. Right, okay. Come in, Mr. Wake. Your phone's on the desk. The battery was dead. It's charged now. Thank you. Have you started looking for my wife yet? My men are already on it. Now, can you tell me what happened? I'm not sure. I can't remember. We were arguing. I walked out of the cabin. The cabin on Cauldron Lake? How did you end up at Stucky's gas station? I wanted to tell her what had happened last night, but I couldn't. She'd lock me up. But not telling her will make you lock you up. Excuse me. I need to take this. Hello? Alice, please help me. Alice? Stop talking to the law. You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife again. Who is this? Go to the back lot. There's a hole in the fence on the left. Look inside the junker. I left a little something there to convince you we're all on the same page here. After you ditch the cops, you're going to meet me in Elderwood National Park. There's a spot Mr. Wake, can I help you with anything? Midnight. Don't do nothing stupid, pal. For watching you. I need to get some air. The sheriff said I could go out back. Of course, Mr. Wake. You can get there through the cell corridor. Boy, it's on. The deputies, they won't, they don't understand. They won't listen to me. I, I need it to be bright. I'm scared of the dark. In spite of its human mask, to describe the dark presence as intelligent would have implied human qualities on something decidedly inhuman. Nonetheless, it found the one spot in the diner that was dark enough. Some light spilled into the corridor, ravaging it. But it took the pain. Horrible as it was, the lighter would soon fix that. He would be coming to the one place where it still had power. My god. So... Hey! Hey! No! Shut up! The early morning light hurt my eyes and made my head ache. The man on the phone had said, go through the fence on the left. Yeah, exactly. So, our wife is safe or... Well, safe, but... What's happening? Why is she not drowned and where the hell... What's happened? Well, folks, it's been another long night and uh, it's about time for me to sign off. windows even a report of shots fired on main street man Deputies Mulligan and Thornton had to deal with two well, the shots me through the fence yeah take that you fence right here's another manuscript there's so much reading Listening. The kidnapper fired oh! the last time, and the shadow vanished into the darkness it had come from. See? Nothing to it, Wake. The thought of Alice in his hands was revolting. We stood on the wooden platform of Lover's Peak, the waterfall on the mountain behind us, the lights of the radio mast blinking red in the heights above. I fought with the urge to take a swing, force myself to speak. Let's cut the act now. Where's my wife? Where's my wife? Had been placed in the front seat. The caller meant business. The caller had told me to find a hole in the fence behind the police station. There was something for me in an abandoned car. Whoa! Ow! Ow! Thank God! Where the hell have you been? I've been trying to reach you for a week. You and Alice. I've been worried sick. I flew out yesterday. I'm here, here in Bright Falls. Barry, listen to me. I'm at the sheriff's station. Come and get me. I can't talk now. I had to get the sheriff to let me go. I needed to get to Elderwood National Park to meet Alice's kidnappers. This is weird. So by day he's a normal person, but my by night he's 
sleeping. Whoa. The is a light that reveals the world of his story from darkness, shapes it from nothingness. The way a sculptor carves a statue from a block of granite. If I stop, the world I'm making dies. Darkness will reclaim it. It's a long, hard journey into the dark. Alice's life is at stake, but I can't think about that, or I'll lose it. The dread lingers at the edge of perception. I'll push on. Anything is possible here. I'll write the story. I'll save her. Wait, so this is... Is this what happened for that week I... That I've lost? Marvelous, Baron. I just wanted to settle all the damage the Anderson brothers might have inadvertently caused on their... See ya. Are you feeling any better, Mr. Wake? I'd like to leave. Am I free to go? Well, we still need to talk about... Am I under arrest? No. Of course not. But I need to know where you'll be staying so I can get in touch with you. I'd avoid the motel. The Majestic is known for its roaches. The cabins at Elderwood are pretty nice, though. That sounds perfect. I'm Dr. Emil. Premium cabins, huh? To invite you to stay at Cauldron Lake Lodge. Ah, the shut Lodge. up. I had the pleasure of discussing your situation with her on several occasions. Did you set something up with her? I invited her here. My clinic is a place where... Oh, hey, oh my! Take it easy. Hey, nobody move. Get your hands off of my client. Who are you? I'm Barry Wheeler. Oh, his agent. Jesus. If you have business with Mr. Wake, you talk to me. You yokels won't know what hit you once I sick my lawyers on your asses. No harm done, Sarah. I'm all right. I don't want to press charges. Mr. Wake... My offer still stands. Get me out of here. What the hell was that about, Al? We don't need a replay of that thing with the paparazzi. I thought they were going to lock you up. Yeah, well, he probably did something kinky with my wife. I, to someone. I told Barry everything. He thought I was certifiable, but when he heard about the manuscript, I had him. The fact that I'd written something, even if I couldn't remember it, was enough for him. He smelled money. And he believed that Alice had been kidnapped. Anything beyond that was another story. I had a midnight appointment with the kidnapper in a place called Lover's Peak, somewhere in Elderwood National Park. The plan was to rent a cabin. I don't like it, Al. I don't like any of it. It's not good. In fact, it's the absolute opposite of good. Mr. Wake! Oh, not you! about you too. Great. I was just having <laughs> some coffee. He's on the balcony looking at the Mets. Poor thing. I really need to go. Your eyes I turn demon. See you again, Mr. Wake. Later. No, no, Barry. Who's Max? Oh no. What an airhead. Max Jeez, Crawfield. Uh -huh. Swing it, everybody. This is not her fault. She's a very nice girl and, more importantly, a fan. She even has a fan site dedicated to you. Perfect. That's just what I want. I'm not Mio from Kaon. And she was very helpful when I was looking for you. Seriously, Al, what you were saying in the car, just listen to yourself. What, you shot a guy and his body just disappeared? When was the last time you slept? Are you high? Have you been drinking? No. <laughs> Look, Barry, I'm missing a week. And someone's got Alice. And everything's just... Do you understand what it sounds like when you say stuff like that? Do you understand? It's a good story. Could be a bestseller. But when you start confusing fiction with reality, you're buying yourself a ticket to the funny farm. You're buying yourself a ticket to my flipping for you ass! God. Oi, can Easy I ha there, boy. have some help? I'm almost help. done. Hey, Rusty, right? You rent cabins. Oh, Mr. Wake. I'd shake your hand, but oh. mine are kind of full here. Actually, I'm sorry about doing? this. Would you mind grabbing the registration form from the desk? It's just across from Bucktooth Charlie. Seriously, Al, you can't just go and meet a kidnapper. Those situations always end up in disaster. You gotta talk to the cops. She's my wife, and it's my call. Can we talk about this later? No. This whole thing is... Listen, you hit your head. I mean, geez, Al, come on. You gotta understand how crazy all this sounds. If you're trying to pull a joke on me, freak me out, it's working. <laughs> uh -huh, let's have a laugh on Barry. Well, you had me what? going there real funny, Al. You can quit it now. What are all the faces in this game? 
First my wife's looking at me like she doesn't, like, live in her own body. And now, Alan's just going on simish. I think this is the form you wanted. And here are the keys. Okay, you're all set, Mr. Wake. Glad to have you staying here. Thanks. Can you tell me how to get to Lover's Peak? Oh, sure. It's at the end of the nature trail. Just follow the paths, you'll get to... All right, eventually. okay. It's an easy walk. Nice spot, too. Thanks. My wife's there. You're asking me to believe that you shot a dude who went poof, into thin air, a guy who was bulletproof until you pointed a flashlight at him. You hear that from people who end up spending time in padded rooms, strapped to their beds. I will kill you! Too long tangled. My God, Barry, shut up! We should go to the sheriff or call the FBI. Damn it, Barry, they'll kill her. This is not a good debate. <laughs> that was a pathetic lump. I'm going to Lover's Peak. He said to come alone. Okay, okay then. I understand. And you're my best friend, and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. Tell me what to do to help, and I'll do it. You stay here, and if I'm not back by morning, call the cavalry. <laughs> Just be careful with the natives, Al. These yokels are dangerous. Everybody hates a tourist. Yokel. Be deliverance all over again. Oh, I'm leaving. Oh, this place is trying to kill me. I bet there's mold in here, spores, poison ivy. Trying to kill you? I've been shot at. Worth a 15% commission. By monsters. Right, let's get out. Oh, oh. Oh no, keep that on. Right, here we go. Lover's Peak. Why are we going at night time? Why can't we have just gone there? I'll wait here, Al. I'll hold down the fort. I'll be with you in spirit every step of the way, Al. Watch the door now. Yeah, you, you crawl up in a corner. Here we go. There's another one. Barry had never gotten along. But he knew Alan loved her with an almost frightening intensity. And now something had happened to Alice. And here was Al armed with a gun and saying things people got put in padded cells for. Yeah. It was as if his friend had experienced a massive psychotic episode and was now totally disconnected from reality. It scared the shit out of Barry. Well, if he doesn't help me, I'll shoot him! I'll shoot the shit out of him. Yeah. Take that, you disco stick! I should have gone to the cops. This wasn't the smartest thing I'd ever done, but I was still angry with Barry for trying to talk me out of it. These people had called me right in the sheriff's station. The cops wouldn't scare them, and they had Alice. But they scared you, right? This is something you don't. Oh, God! Shut up laughing, you dumb asses. I'll kill you. Jesus, I scared the tits off me. Welcome back to the show, folks. As promised, our very own Dr. Nelson has just parked his rear end in the studio. Doc, what's your deer fest plan like? My plan? You make it sound a lot more horrible. Whoa, 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 whoa. There we go. Turn these lights on. Right. Can I see the lover's peak from here, or...? No. No. All Barry's gonna hear is just, like, shooting, and he's gonna be like... And then he's going to call the police and then I'll be, I'll be found shooting nothing because it's all in my head. And then I'll go to jail and Alice is actually at home having sex with another person. Um. Okay. Okay. 
No, no, no! 